Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome into the channel for my very first look into God of War 2018. I started my God of War journey back in January with the very first God of War, and I played the games in the order that they were released in versus the chronological order. Just because I personally love following game development and the UI and UX that goes into games, I really like seeing how they change things over time and how the graphics look over time. So I know that coming into God of War 2018 today is going to be absolutely mind blowing. What I know from God of War 2018 is that Kratos is a thousand years older from when we leave him in God of War 3, which God of War 3 is probably one of my favorites that I have played through so far just because of the music the character arc that Kratos begins to go through, especially in the very end of God of War 3, and the graphics of how it was remastered is beautiful. That world and the boss fights and everything in it was amazing. I also really loved God of War 1, but it was kind of a very close tie between God of War 3 and 1 being my favorite, but when I think about the one that I loved the most, it's definitely God of War 3. I recently finished up my time in Ascension. That's the one that I finished last week before coming into God of War 2018 because that was technically the last one that came out before God of War 2018 started. So I feel for you guys out there that had to wait so many years for this next piece of Kratos. And I'm really glad that I'm playing them now because I would not have been able to wait this long. I also know from the Easter egg in God of War 3 that we're kind of switching between the loosely based Greek mythology that we've seen in the God of War games so far into more of a loosely based Norse mythology, which I think is gonna be really amazing. I love Viking shows. I watched a ton of Viking shows, including the Viking show that just finally came back on Netflix recently that I have been rewatching and also Vikings of Valhalla and a bunch of others that I have watched. So I know I'm really, really, really gonna enjoy this look into Norse mythology through the God of War series. I originally decided to start this God of War journey back in January because I have heard nothing but good things about this game, God of War 2018. And I know that the character arc is talked about a lot in this game. I don't know anything underlying storyline. This is a completely blind look into this game, but I've heard nothing but good things about the graphics, the music, and the character arc that Kratos goes through in these games. So I kind of expect hopping in today, we're gonna get a much different look at who Kratos is. I mean, this game is a thousand years after the end of God of War 3. Obviously, a lot changes in a year, so a thousand years is crazy to even think about. I'm really, really excited to see who Kratos is and what he has been up to since the end of God of War 3. That was satisfying. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. All I've heard so far is rustling leaves and look at Kratos and some birds and I'm happy. All right, so I went through the settings real quick. I did turn on subtitles. I changed motion blur just because I like to have it that way. It is running on ultra performance, which should be fine on my computer. But other than that, and maybe some like a bump down in some of the sounds, I didn't change much, but I made sure to turn subtitles on. Uh, give me a story, give me a balanced experience, give me a challenge, give me God of War. Requiring godlike reflexes and strategy. I think I'm gonna go for a balanced experience this time. I would like to do the challenge one, but I'm very interested in, yeah, I want an adventure with a reasonable challenge. Sounds like me. It's so crazy seeing Kratos so much older. That handprint means something to him. Okay. Press R1 to swing the Leviathan axe. Okay. <laughs>
His chains are gone. Found some. Get in the boat, boy. He didn't want him to see for some reason. Already, it's so beautiful. The music, the sounds, the feels, everything is amazing. I knew that there was a boy that followed Kratos around in this game because I'm on Twitch a lot and I definitely saw all the boy memes and sound alerts that came out during this time, but I don't know who he is or why he's following us. I feel like he could be maybe like Kratos' son or maybe someone he just looks after. Still want me to tie it to the boat? Boy. Well, this tree obviously means something to him. We're taking it with us. That is enough. The journey, the mark trees, follow the river downstream. Okay. Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different now. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Christopher Judge. Yes, sir. So it is his son. Kratos is a father again. I love this area that they're in. Look at the mountains and all of the trees. It's really nice. It's pretty here. Any area with mountains, I'm going to get excited. <laughs> This must be our home. Look at the handprints on the rocks. They're similar to the tree. That was the last. see my mother. All there, my daughter. 
do I see my father? Well, there did they call to me. Well, there did they call to me. Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, there do they call to me. She's ready. I'm sorry. Squeeze. This knife. It was hers. Now it is yours. She knew. Show me. Now? Now. The music is so powerful. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. <laughs> okay. Uh, this way. <laughs> Journey the Mark Trees. Hunt with Artreus. So that's clearly our son. And we just lost our wife. Which I think it hit me so hard because not only was it a very beautiful moment and the music was so good and so deep, um, but knowing what I know about Kratos and his previous family, I just, I feel for him because it, he obviously lost another wife and it's got to be hard for him what he's going through right now. All right, so let's look at this menu. It looks huge and jam-packed full of amazing things. I see a codex, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, but let's take a look at these. Weapons, looks like we have one Leviathan Axe. Powerful weapon handed down to Kratos. I wonder from whom. But it looks like we have some HP stuff on the right side there. What's luck? Increases perk activation chance, increase XP, and hack silver gains. 
We have cooldown, vitality, defense, runic. Holds both runic action. Oh, sorry. Runic attack and elemental damage. And we have strength, too, which... All very cool things. Luck is interesting, kind of. I guess we get perks. Perk activation chance. A light runic attack and a heavy runic attack. So we have uh, gems that can be slotted for extra buffs. That's very cool. Can be found in the world and purchased at dwarven shops. That's awesome. And it has a wooden grip on it, giving it a level one stat. Nice. So, oops. Father. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Um, let's take a look at our shield. Defender of the Chosen. A golden shield bursting with the righteous glory of Valhalla. It's rare, apparently. Uh, we also have some other rare ones. Interesting. I love the compare button. Doesn't look like any of these have perks. They're just kind of skins. At least right now. I like this buckler of the forge. Powerful shield forged by two legendary dwarven blacksmiths. A menacing shield welded only by the strong welded only by the strongest dark elves of Alfheim. These are really, really neat. I love this one too. Starwart shield etched by a great stonemason from Jotunheim, maybe? I'm gonna have to look up some some Nordic uh how to pronounce some of these things because I don't want to be pronouncing them wrong. I think I'm gonna do this one for now, this like all black one. Let's take a look. Was that all that's in here? Looks like we have a bow too, but it's not unlocked yet to look at. So armor. We have woven shoulder guard. Looks like death's vow shoulder guard is new. Kratos' mourning garb. Which is very fitting right now. And it also has more strength, defense, and luck. So we should definitely put this on. Enchantments. You've equipped armor that contains an enchantment socket. Enchantments can only be socketed into equipped armor and talismans that have enchantment sockets. Enchantments provide stat bonuses and unique perks. Nice. So do we have one? We have the symbol of perseverance. Um, gives us a plus two defense buff. Very nice. This is really cool. I love how you can put different... What are these called? Gems? Enchantments? Yeah, enchantments. Very cool. I love that. Wait, did I take that off of there? All right. We also have the worn wrappings of exile. Stiff leather forearm wraps. Provided protection and conceal a dark secret. So I'm guessing that Kratos wears those around him because as you can kind of see peeking out over one of his forearms, he probably has some pretty severe scars from the chains that he wore so i'm guessing that is the dark secret that it's concealing he obviously wants to keep it from his son it made it very clear in the opener there that he is keeping he is keeping that away from his son um do we have any other ones no no more enchantment slots for that we also have waist armor symbol belt made from animal hide this one is the... I think it's fitting to wear the Death's Bow stuff right now. And we have a passive effect. A memento from Kratos' deceased wife. Oh, it's a talisman. Okay. And we can put an enchantment in that too. Luck of Ages. It's not letting me go over to his son right now. I'm not sure why. Um, but maybe once we, after we go and hunt with him, we'll be able to unlock whatever that is. But looks like we have a skill tree, which this is very, very cool. I was wondering if there was going to be a skill tree in this game. I'm really excited to see this. Looks like we have this one unlocked right now. Purchased. Aim and press R2 for a powerful attack that freezes smaller enemies for a short duration and inflicts heavy damage to all enemies. Very cool. And it looks like we need some XP in order for us to get these. So we need 500 XP to unlock any of these. We'll look when we have more XP. 
I just wanted to take a quick look at the menu because I knew that it was going to be very extensive and I'm ac I'm really happy to see that it's so extensive. I love skill trees and I love when games put a codex in there. Um, you guys will see me refer back to the codex quite a bit during this playthrough. We also have a map. It's very small right now because we haven't been many places, but this is Kratos. I love the symbol that they gave him. And the journey. And it looks like we're in Midgard right now. So the journey is in our goals section. We have journey, favors, labors, treasure maps, and artifacts. Very cool. So the mark trees is our active quest. It's going along. It's going to be a long journey to the mountain. I wonder when we'll go. Objectives are to hunt with Artreus and follow the river downstream. Father's taking me hunting before we start the journey to the mountain. I love that the objective is written in his son's hand. Mother's wishes were clear. We let the pyre burn, then, her, then take her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. I've got to show him I'm ready and I won't get sick anymore. Mom wanted us to scatter them together. I won't let her down. So it seems like his son gets sick pretty often for some reason. And the codex. Yes, there's an entire lore section and a bestiary. Very cool. I'm excited about that. Resources and special items. Why are we doing this now? I need to know you can survive the journey. Then we leave for the mountain? Depends on you. Hunt. All right, so they want to leave for the mountain to scatter, to scatter the mother's what did you ashes. Find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. Look at this beautiful waterfall. Use R to look around, options for camera, okay. There's something shiny here. Explore the world to find valuable resources. We found some hack silver, nice. What's glowing over here? Boy, you miss these. Huh. Close. But also not deer. See? Tips are too wide. Mountains up? Your mother taught you well. Yeah. No. It obviously just happened, so... What a way to start the game. Ooh, is this a treasure chest? Nice. Hack silver. I'll see what's up ahead. Something else here. Looks like a little boat. Lost and found. New artifact set. Lost toys found. Let's take a look at it. We found this little toy near the house. I used to have one just like it. I think it may be part of a set. If I can find more, they may be worth something. Cool. So if we find all four, we get 350 bonus XP. Very cool. All right. More tracks? Yeah. Those are They're too big. Long. Could be a wild boar. Good. Oh! Now what? Jump gaps with O. This way, boy. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, deer tracks. They're fresh. This way. He's cute. He's like, oh, that was pretty easy. Vault. Oh, wow. Ah! Found it. Slow down, boy. Sorry. I just want to keep hunting deer, not chasing it. True. Yes, father. <laughs> I just want to um look over here. Sorry. I just wanted to keep an eye on him, make sure he was okay. All right. Nothing over there. I did see something shiny. Yeah, over here. Under this rock. 
And there's a chest over here too. Nice, more hack silver. Ooh, there's something here too. I don't think we can jump that. Probably for a later time. Whoa. He broke our bridge. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. Um, to equip the Leviathan axe. Okay. L2 to aim. R1 to throw or R2. Go. Nice. Go. Very cool. Oh. Can we call it? Yeah, Over recall. Here. Whoa. That's awesome. That's going to be a ton of fun. There is. Hold. Uh -oh. Uh. What are you uh. doing? Now it's guard is up. Only fire. Only fire. When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. <clears throat> Find it. Kratos is being a pretty good dad. He's teaching him not to be so quick and to kind of take his time. I like how he took a breath there to, he was about to yell at him, but he actually took a breath mid sentence and kind of calmed himself down. Wow. Oh my gosh, what is that? No, you are not ready. Stay back. Um, R2, R1 light, R2 heavy, got it. Oh, another one. Sounds like there's one behind me. Yep. Another one. I like the arrow. That's nice. L1 to block. L to evade. All right. Let's try evading first. Got it. Ooh, okay. Watch your right. My right. Oh, this guy. Got it. Hmm. Nice. I like the combat. They've never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. All right, so we got a bestiary update. Let's go see what those are. Draugr? Mother said that Draugr were warriors who died, but their souls were too stubborn and angry to stop fighting. So they'd fight off the Valkyrie that came to collect them and bring their own dead bodies back to life, warping and twisting their previous form into something else. Now they're husks of their former selves and fight anybody that they can find. She also said that they come back in all different shapes and sizes and that some even have powers that others may not. So it's a primordial beast. Interesting. I like the combat. I like the uh, R1, R2, L1 situation we've got going on. So that was a health stone. We got health from that. Nice. I kind of want to explore over here. What if we're never coming back this way? I know he went that way, but... Uh, here's this way. I can see more tracks. Does that mean I should go back? Or we can follow you. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Another really pretty waterfall. It's kind of frozen over. Is this where? Mind the edge, boy. 
Yeah, this is where we were before. I feel like there was a, yeah, there's a chain up there. Okay. So can I get up there? What is that? Climb the chain. Okay. That sounded like a roar. Oh, whoa. Okay. Wolf's Bane. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. So what is this? Oh, labors. Nice. So this also gives us XP if we complete this. Kill 100 Draugr. Kill 250 enemies. Kill 15 wolves. Nice. Okay, so something else to look out for. Do we also get a bestiary for those? The rabid wolf. I've always admired wolves, but the ones we've encountered attack us on sight, which means they're probably rabid. <laughs> I guess to them, we're food. I know it's kill or be killed, but still. They're beautiful in their own way, and killing them makes me a little sad. Good thing Father probably won't read this. I love the little drawings that he does of them. They were just hungry. What? The wolves. They weren't mean. They were starving. Yes, I imagine they were. This is a big treasure chest. What? He can no longer use it. <laughs> we can. True. I like how he made a disgusted noise. So it was definitely worth coming down here. Sometimes it's good to go off the beaten path. We don't need this health, so I'm just going to keep it there. Ooh, good find. Nice, another toy. I didn't see what this one looked like. Oh, it was a horse. Okay. Well, let's climb back up the rope then. I think we're done here. Oh my gosh, he hops onto Kratos' back. It's so cute. All right. So keep our eyes peeled. Go off the beaten path. Got it. We already went down that way, right? I think that's how we discovered to go up that way. All right. Back to the center area. This place is really cool. All right, let's see what's over here. A big tomb. And it's glowing. Should we be in here? Yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. It's locked. The chest is locked with runic magic. Find and solve the three seals to unlock it. So that's one of them right there. That's the other one. And the other one's up here. Find the three seals. Oh, I have to destroy them. Got it. I wonder if destroying these vases also gives me something. Doesn't really seem like it, though. All right. How do I get up here? I guess I have to throw it at it. Nice. Love it. I love the MIDI puzzle. Huh. An Idune Apple. Legendary. Collect one of three to increase your maximum health. Very cool. Idune Apples. Or I don't know how to actually say that. I done? 
Apples are the choice food of the gods. Find nine total apples in the world in chests that locked are locked by magic. Every three you collect will increase your maximum health. Very, very cool. All right. Definitely felt like we weren't supposed to be in there. All right, you go on ahead. I know you were tracking over there. Wow, look at that structure. Up there. Oh, yep. You went to the old temple, but mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. All right, let's open the door. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. I went hunting with mother a bunch of times. He never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. sounds like maybe Kratos has been a little standoffish with anything to do with combat with his son. I don't know if I'm reading that correctly, but it kind of seems like it. I hear wolves, possibly. I can definitely hear something over here. Okay. Enemy health bar. During combat, enemy health bar is displayed above them. All right. Oops, I meant to aim. Was that the last? Nope, there's one more. Nice. Thought I saw something drop over there, but I guess not. A new tip is added. Joggers fight with dangerous weapons, but they aren't very skilled with them. Not like Father and his axe. If we watch their movements, it would be easy to dodge or block their attacks. Okay. Something's gotta open that gate. Alright. Pull the chain. It's opening. Why is it telling me to aim my axe? Huh. Oh, because it closes okay. when I What now? Um Ooh, there's a big chest in here. I wonder if that's opening when I pull the chain too. Okay, let's try again. I have to be aiming at something. Okay, L2 to aim. Maybe at that. Oh. oh, the big shiny thing, probably. You froze it in place. Nice. Clever. All right, let's not... Oh, it did open this one, too. Let's not recall the axe until we're done, obviously. Obviously. That was a lot of hacks over. Okay. So... Yeah, let me recall it. it should be... Open, yes. yeah. Okay, and let's look over here first. There's something shiny. Where are you going? I think he's this way. 
We're going to get loot, boy. Is that a bomb? Kind of looks like a bomb. Hmm. Let me get close to it and see if it tells me. All right. Back away and try to hit it, I guess. It is a bomb. There's another bomb over there. I don't think my axe can go through that, can it? Let's try. Wait, is there something up here? Oh. Okay, that did something. Let's hit this one too. Nice. Loving these puzzles so far. Loving these puzzles. Very cool. Okay. That was everything in here. I think my health is fine. Shield. I don't think that's giving me anything. I think I'm just destroying stuff. <laughs> okay, what is this? Look here. Oh, look! It's Skull and Hati, the giant wolves who chase the sun and moon. Where did they come from? How did they get up there? What's happening there at the end? They eat the sun and moon? And then everybody fights? Interesting. Do we just get our first lore drop? No. Every shrine tells the story of a giant of legend. Find all Yatnar shrines. The giants left behind shrines that tell stories from their history. I love these stories when mom told them. Let's see how many we can find. So it looks like we found one of 11. Very cool. So it's another like small, um, like a side quest. Very cool. Did it upgrade our, yes, we got our first lore piece. Skull and Yati, I think is how we said it. Wolf giants, Skull chases the sun and hot Yati the moon. What happens when they catch their prey? Looks like a massive fight. Odin, Thor, and the world serpent. Could it be? Very cool. Okay. Was this here? I completely missed that on the way in. All right. And I think that's how we got in here, right? All right. We can go back down now. I want to take a look at the map real quick just to see what else is unlocked and kind of what it looks like. Okay. Artifacts found, two of 34. So we do have like a summary. Ooh, I love how it does this. It's also going to drive me crazy because I'm going to wonder where all of the stuff is. But we found two of four artifacts in this region so far. Can't wait to spend all of this hack silver that we've gotten. I feel like we've gotten a ton. Father, look. Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Feet solid. Steady yourself. Exhale and release.
I got it. Good. I think it's because I'm a parent, but seeing Kratos be a good father is getting me choked up so much. And I try, I've been like sucking in the, these moments that he's having with him because I know that they're going through a really hard time right now after losing um, his mom. So like, it's just, it's crazy how, how much I feel connected to Kratos in this moment because of everything that he's been through and seeing him in this light is is definitely it's been amazing so far it's it's still alive i guess he's gonna have to use his knife your knife no Finish what you started. You can do it. <sighs> I can't. He looks up to Kratos so much. I... says but it's intense press square to command Artreus to shoot arrows hold l2 then press square to target a specific enemy animals enemies will be distracted by the attacking kratos when they are hit by an arrow okay jeez the number of arrows Artreus can shoot is indicated in the lower right corner one shot arrows take time to recharge okay okay just tell me when to shoot all right, so there we go. Let's get the attention. Oh, okay. This is crazy. All right, double tap to roll. Got it. L3 to sprint. Cool. Ooh, okay. At the okay, there we go. Okay, get away. <laughs> Jeez. All right, run, sprint. Oh, okay. Yeah, he is very strong. Okay. Son. Jeez. Oh, okay. Oh no, I'm gonna die. All right, we're okay. We're okay. All right, there's a health over here. I'm gonna grab it. All right, get out of the way. Fine. Kill it. 
He's almost dead. He's just hanging on. Oh my gosh. I'm getting selfish. I'm getting selfish and I'm going to kill us. There we go. Nope, nope. Okay, R3 takedown. Messy first fight, but we're getting it. <laughs> That's where you get it! Boy. Uh, think I'm a pretty God. We almost died. Calm down. You're nothing to me! Boy, nothing. look at me. Look at me, boy. Boy, look at me. Oh, hey. We did it. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer. I proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready wow what an intense fight we were so close to death multiple times there do not speak again i wonder what all of this is about him being sick so it's another one of the labors to kill three trolls or 10 for gold Jeez. Wow, we get 3,500 XP for killing 10 trolls. The troll was hard to kill. I'm glad that they finally taught us how to, like, do more evades. Um, the double roll is really cool and running. But I definitely thought we were going to die there for sure. So it looks like we're returning home. Let me see if we can do any upgrades. I know that we've gotten a lot of xp so far how much do we have where does it show me oh 346 up there okay and it looks like we have a little over a thousand like 1500 of the money so yeah we need a lot more to get some upgrades what was the shield purchase purchased a thousand five hundred fifteen hundred okay um we can also do or with the bow, Artreus can perform a variety of high stun damage attacks when enemies are near. That's pretty cool. Artreus can help Kratos when enemies are in certain vulnerable states or when Kratos is attacked. Very cool. So I wonder if I can look at his armor now. I can. It's finally unlocked. So he has the tunic of hope on. Fashioned from leather, wolf hide. Uh, wolf hide. Sorry. A gift from Artreus' mother. And we have the death one too, which I don't think does anything extra for him. He doesn't really have any stats like Kratos has, aside from the skills. Okay. The path home is this way. Duh. Well, someone died here fighting that troll. So we did get an upgrade in the, an update in the bestiary. I think the troll we fought was, I don't even know how to say that, Dao Copmore. Mother used to always tell me stories about him and try to scare me if I wandered off too far. I think she'd be proud of me, but father thinks because I got a little angry that I'm not ready. So it is the fury. I was going to mention that, that once Artreus kind of lost it in a rage, Kratos got really upset about that. And I think he probably tries really hard, knowing Kratos' past, to keep Artreus' rage under wraps because he knows how, how much rage can affect your entire life. So it's probably a very important lesson that Kratos teaches Artreus. And for a good reason, too. But it kind of sounds like once he gets really ragey, he gets sick, which is very, it's not good. 
Whatever, I just helped him kill a troll. I know I'm ready. Mother told me a lot of stories about trolls. This one's name translates to Death Merchant. With a name like that, I think it's safe to assume he was pretty evil. I'm glad we killed him. Okay. Glad we killed him too. Thought we were gonna die. So I guess we were just returning back home now. I don't think there's anything else in this area for us. I want to take a look at this ledge one last time. Okay. I guess we can't get to that bridge over there. I was looking at it, but it doesn't look like it. No. Yep. Nope. Okay. Wolves. Stunning enemies. An enemy stun bar is located below their health bar. Attacking an enemy in quick succession inflicts stun damage, causing the bar to fill. Once the bar is filled, the enemy is stunned. Plus R3 to grab. Okay. Arrows and barehanded attacks inflict ultra stun damage. Kratos can switch between barehanded... Barehanded... Okay, by putting away the weapon, obviously. Okay. Nope. There we go. My goodness. There are more. Oh, I like that. Okay. The music wasn't stopping, so I was concerned. Not sure if we're supposed to go... Okay, obviously up. But what's this? Hidden chamber. Find and enter all the chambers when able. There are seven locked doors throughout the world. Find them all. Okay. Still can't get the doors open, huh? Quiet. So Kratos has been trying to open those. I wonder wonder what those mean what that means. Okay. <laughs> Right. Uh. There's more. He was gonna explode. What is that? I do not know. Not easily stunned. Ooh. What is this? Some enemies are resistant to the Leviathan axe. Okay, so that's him. So let's put that away, I guess. Oh, that's like a quick turn. Cool. I told okay. you something was different about the forest. And I told you not to speak. Not to speak. Oh. <laughs> he has to give him a little bit of breathing room sometimes. I understand being a parent, though, especially a, a Kratos parent. So what was that thing? I don't even know what that was. Yeah, question mark, question mark, question mark. What is this? It looks like a reaver, but it sounds so strange. Even father doesn't know. Speak. Some sort of, kind of like icy? 
an icy enemy. So something's been happening. Look at the garden with the tomatoes and the plants. Something's been happening in the forest. Why is it telling me to throw my axe? Is there something here? I feel like it's significant somehow, but I don't know how. Okay. Maybe just because he's ready to go and I have to use it over here. That's probably what it is. Okay. There's nothing else over here that I'm missing, right? We have health. All right, let's keep going. Are we back home already? I think we might be. Yeah, it looks like home. But why would a fire troll burn Mother's garden? And since when are drawers so close to the house? And what was that frozen thing that attacked us? I do not know. Now be silent. We I are do. almost home. <laughs> okay, so we're almost there. And that was the Mother's garden in the back. So there's definitely an uptick in enemies coming out here. I guess maybe we just go inside. What is this little stone shrine over here? Looks kind of destroyed. All right, let's go inside. Inside, boy. Yeah, <laughs> Kratos. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Good Why did I expect it to be any different now that she's? <sighs> you lost control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon if you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you. I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Come on, then. You want me to hit you? I want you to try. Ow! What are you- Try again. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. 
Again. Stop it! Again. Ooh. <coughs> Your anger. You can get lost in it. That ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. What was that? Quiet. What is that? Come on out! There's no use hiding anymore. I know who you are. What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you are. Boy, beneath the floor. Now. But you told me never to go down there. Who is that? I do not know. What's he talking about? I do not know. Get in. Doesn't sound good. Just tell me what I want to know. No need for this to get bloody. Should be bigger. But you're definitely the one. Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Whatever it is you seek, I do not have it. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind supposed to be so enlightened so much better than us so much smarter and yet you hide out here in the woods like a coward you do not want this fight oh <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do <gasps> Leave my home. You are going to have to kill me for that to happen. Who is this? Finally. You obviously would not listen. Come on, then. He's obviously a god of some sort. Can I take my axe out? Whoa. I tried to get out of the way and I couldn't. Who is this guy? Oh man. 
Jeez. Tell me what I want. Pain oh. stops real soon. Why are there two beds in there? <laughs> Did I? Slow and old. You should never have come to Midgard. Look at him glowing. He's so, healing. Can't you try again? Oh my god. You talk too much. Jeez. You won't talk? Fine. Maybe whoever it is you got stashed in that house will. L3. Oh, Spartan Rage. I was wondering if that was a, what that meter was. <laughs> I can't block anymore. I guess I have to fight with my fist. Why can't I use my axe? Oh, it's because I was in Spartan Rage. Got it. Oh. Why does he have a square on him? Get out of the way. Oh, it's too late. This is a crazy battle. Is he just going to heal again? was that well Kratos is still extremely strong we knew that but whoever that was is on the same level as Kratos he obviously doesn't know that we have a son he was worried about that he's healing himself need to get back to <gasps> Leaving so soon? I had a feeling he was still gonna be alive. When Odin sent me here, I just needed answers, but you, you had to act all proud. Odin. Throw whatever you have at me, I'll keep coming. That old body will give out. But before I end this, I want you to know one thing. I can't feel any of this. Is 
so he's immortal. Obviously. You've seen it with your own eyes. You can't hurt me. Nothing can. This fight is pointless. Your struggle is pointless. It didn't have to be this way. Pathetic! <clears throat> you can't win! I feel nothing! But you, you feel everything, yet you, you keep trying. I'm not my brother. And if you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no. Did Kratos just heal Let's by using finish. some of his rage? Pretty sure that's what just happened. You can't <gasps> beat me! Oh man. I feel nothing. Dang, you got me that time. Where'd he go? I will end you. You get my thing back. My axe. Almost there for the third time. to come back though isn't he i mean he got squashed by a rock he healed himself i don't know who that was but apparently odin has beef with us Probably. How did they 
find me after all this time. What do they want with him? Faye, what do I do? Our son is not ready to carry your ashes to the top of the mountain. Faye was his wife. Yeah, I think Kratos is healing by using his rage, which is actually very cool. He's learned to. And neither am I. I do not know how to do this without you. Aww. He's learned how to channel his rage and use it to heal instead. That's actually very cool. <laughs> Let's make sure he's okay in here. He probably got scared. But we cannot stay here. Yeah, they know where we are now. Whoever's whoever they is. Boy. There was so much I I thought Aww. You're all right. I am all right. Come. <laughs> Gather your things. We are leaving. Thought I wasn't ready. You are not. We have no choice now. <clears throat> Prove me wrong. Yes, sir. The journey begins. It's gonna be a long trip. Yes, but an important one. Whoa. How did this happen? We are more powerful than we look. All right, so the stranger's in here now under the question mark category, which is interesting. I wonder, they're probably linked. A strange man covered in tattoos came to the house and attacked father. It must have been some fight. Everything's broken. Father said he wasn't ready earlier, but something about killing the stranger changed his mind, I guess. Who was he? What did he want with us? We're nobodies. So his son has no idea about his past. That is very, very clear that Kratos does not want his son to know about his past. And I mean, if I was Kratos, I completely understand why. At least not until he is much, much older. But I wonder who this is and if he said he was sent by Odin. So if Odin has beef with him, I really hope that this isn't another journey for Kratos where the gods have some sort of ultimate goal in mind for him and they're going to drag him along for another ride. So we do have 821 XP now. I would really love to get one of the close combats upgraded first. And I think I'm gonna do this one or this one. A heavy attack finisher at the end of a light attack combo, press R1, 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 R2 to perform. Adds a an addition of frost damage on impact for an additional bonus. Um, but that requires runic stuff. This one's also cool too. I feel like both are really good for crowd control. This one's okay. R1 for an axe attack that hits enemies multiple times and locks them down. Um, Could be pretty cool. I just like how this one is just massive damage that you can kick them into others. And yeah, I think that it's really cool. But the pride of the frost is also kind of used to how I'm playing in the previous God of War is doing like a combo attack. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this one first. So R1, R1, R2 to perform this heavy attack finisher. Very cool. 
So we have 300 left. I think we can do one of the ones with the bow for Atreus to help out Kratos a little bit more. Help Kratos with enemies in certain vulnerable states or when Kratos is attacked. Can do a variety of high stun damage attacks when enemies are near. I'm going to do the high stun attack. Okay. Very cool. And we don't have anything that we can do for our shield for a little bit now. But double tap L1 to break an enemy's block. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, when we start getting like shielded enemies. I won't worry about that right now. I will continue to save up some XP though. I'm going to try to like figure out what path I want to take. I don't know if you could unlock all of them or if you got to pick and choose what path you want to do. If it's that kind of skill tree. Um, but yeah, I'm going to think about this a little bit further. See how I want to play the game. All right, so we finished the marked trees. We're done with that journey and we're starting the path to the mountain. On the highest peaks in the realms, we'll scatter mother's ashes. Father beat the stranger at our door, but we're not safe there anymore. Ready or not, we're heading for the mountains. I wonder what these vines are. Why they're covered in frost like that. Mom called it Hell's Bramble. Can't burn it, can't cut it. Interesting. Okay. So I think we've officially found everything. I am going to take one more quick walk through the house, though, just to be sure. I'm just kidding. I can't. So let's head forward. Who was he? I do not know. What did he want with us? We're nobodies. Did you kill him? I did what had to be done. Whoa. You could have died. Never leave me alone again, all right? All right. There's something over here. I don't think we can jump anywhere else right now. Oh. You've had to kill people before, haven't you? You're used to it. We do what we must to survive. Animals I get. They're food. Draugr, they're supposed to be dead. But people, they're trying to survive too. Close your heart to it. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. They will not feel for you. I understand. Yes, that's pretty good advice. Has this been here all this time? What is it? Oh, wow. Why don't you help me up there? I can get a better look. I don't want to get stuck up there, but I'll help you. Huh? Okay. Nowhere to go from here, except across this bridge. Okay. So there's a wheel here. Think you can lower it from there? There's another disc thing that I'm guessing we have to hit. And nothing down there. Okay. 
Let's turn this wheel thing. Something's glowing over here. I wonder why. Maybe we'll see better once we're up here. Yeah, we can probably jump once we're up there. Okay. All right, let's pull this first. Let's do what we did last time. Okay, and then Go. we freeze it. Made it! Command Artreus to drop the chain. Okay. Boy. Yes, sir. Good idea! Okay. So, I guess there's something maybe on the other side of that bridge. That's the reason for freezing it like that. That hanging bucket. An offering cask? Mother said Odin's disciples fill them with gifts and hang them where thieves can't reach them. That one looked really old. Foolish. What is? Worshipping the gods? The gods care nothing for them. Men should not pray to monsters. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a little taste of Kratos in that quote. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's let him go past the bridge again because I'm guessing we gotta go the other way. Or maybe not. Hang on. Oh, my ox is over there still. All right, there we go. There's something up there. Up where? I'm guessing we have to climb that eventually, but let's go jump over this way. Say no, this is over here. Oh, wrong button. That's my previous training coming out. <laughs> I think if I let up the bridge, I'll be okay. I want to smash this. Oh, I can I can smash it with my fist. Okay. Don't mind me. Just getting used to the controls a bit. <laughs> All right, let's climb this wall. Father, will we see others on the road? Yes. Friendly? No. They'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. Oh. Where does that go? Weren't we just there? Maybe it's in case you saw the chest just now. Okay, let's climb back up. protection stave around our entire woods but the staves broken there did you cut those down she had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre why'd she do that Come. No looking back now.
I feel like Faye wanted Kratos to adventure forward with her son, with their son. And she hand marked that tree. And that was probably the tree that we cut down in the very beginning because look, it's right near the river. Because she wanted them to venture out and obviously to spread her ashes on top of the mountain. But Kratos has probably been hiding out here for a while. And the protection spell kept them safe here. But she wanted it broken because she knows that they can't just hide here forever. And if it were up to Kratos, he probably would. I mean, look how protective he's being huh. over Artreus. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, that scared the bejeebas out of me. Alright, so we need to go up that way. Is there anything over here? No. This is really pretty though. I love this area. Can I pull him up here? What was that? I don't know why he's not coming. Maybe if I keep going, he'll follow me. Okay. He can get up that by himself. So, how long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here's something. Should I fire? Wait for my mark. All right, so he's ready. See a couple of them. Threat indicator. Threat indicators? Yeah, I've noticed them. I actually love the threat indicator. I think it's really cool. Red is an incoming attack. Okay. Flashing purple is an incoming projectile. Enter it. Nice. Yeah, in the quick turn, I accidentally figured out <laughs> when we were fighting that guy. Okay, nice. Above. Okay. Ready, Keep the pressure on. So there's something happening up here. Not ready. There we go. Nice. Okay. How was that? Can I help? If yes. you want to help, distract them. Whoever is not my focus should be yours, but only when safe to do so. I can do that. Look there. All right. Quick turn can be remapped. I think it's fine. I don't know if I'll really like use it too much. I'll try to get used to using it. 
What happens if I hit this statue? <laughs> Nothing. Look okay. up there. Where? Oh yeah. Nice. I like how he points out treasure. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Okay, so there's something over here on the stone. I'm just gonna kind of like check out this area real quick. Make sure we're not missing anything. There's some health over here. Okay. Got some silver out of those pots. All right, I think that's everything in this area. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's something else in this tree here. Oh. <laughs> Gotta make sure you look in the trees. All right, let's see what this stone is. Boy. Sir. There's a Yetnar settlement ahead. Yetnar. Giants. You can read the writing. Some. Just the language his mother knew. But they're all sort of connected, so sometimes I can feel my way through stuff I shouldn't know. You know. Makes sense. We got a lore update with that. Giants. Welcome, Yatnar. Yatnar had a settlement here. Giants so close to home, but how long ago? So it might be an old giant settles, uh, civilization or settlement, I guess. That's what they're calling it. Um, we also got the projectile drogners. They shoot fireballs. How can they do that? They like to attack from a distance, which can be really annoying when they're fighting a bunch of other enemies. But luckily, they go down pretty quickly. All right, let's climb up here. There's all of these like statues and oh, oh my god oh yeah I forgot does not not work on him oh it does my axe works okay. jeez anything else space your shots speed cost accuracy got it so that was a different thing. These, uh, oh no, it was a different kind. These enemies become enraged and super aggressive when you're frosted. Father should do his best to avoid their frost blast attack. Okay. They're kind of giving me like Game of Thrones like <laughs> vibes. The frost. Hey, I don't think, I think we need this. Chest over there. Yeah, we don't. Nice. Hell's Touch. Light runic attack. Nice. An extremely quick burst of energy that interrupts and knocks back all nearby enemies. You've acquired the Hell's Touch Light Runic. It allows you to customize your weapon to enable light and heavy runic attacks. The weapons tab is where you can slot your runic gems. Okay. Hold L1 and R1 for Hell's Touch. Damage and Stun has a 30 second cooldown. It's an area type. Okay. Use XP to upgrade runic attacks. Upgrading runic attacks in, uh, improves their attributes. Cool. All right, so let's equip it. Indicated by the E symbol. Okay, so I see it on the side on the right there. Nice. And the heavy one can go there. Level one type area, 30 second cooldown, extreme quick burst of energy. Very cool. 
So if I wanted to upgrade it, how much? A thousand XP. Okay. Increases attack severity and inflicts uh, inflict stun damage. Plus two stun. Okay, cool. Got our first rune. Or runic attack, I guess. Whoa! How'd you do that? Nice. <laughs> I like how sometimes Kratos just doesn't even answer him. He's just like, I figure it out. Through here. Okay. Fix it up so Ooh. easily. Thanks. There's the mountain! Let's go! Not yet. It's fine. See? Oh, gosh. <gasps> I knew that was going to happen. Father, help! Hang on! Oh, my God. Hey! I'm slipping! Stay calm. Almost there. That wasn't so bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Sorry. Mm. Ugh. More drawler. But these aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. Not dead, oh not dead! Oh my god. Okay, enemy difficulty is presented by the color and number near their bar. The color ranges from green to purple depending on how powerful they are compared to Kratos. So he's kind of powerful. <laughs> Got it. Remember, accuracy over speed. Take that, Roger. They're super annoying when they have fire from above ground. Let's get this one down. Alright, he fell off the cliff. There's still one on the ground? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. That was the last one. Is that better? Take even more time. It does not matter if you fire only once. Show me control. I got crazy for a second there. What is it? Read it. Oh, this used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Wonder if Odin was ever here. Oh my gosh, there's something behind us. Trade grounds. Fell in what used to be a marketplace where gods and giants would meet and trade. Must have been before the war. Interesting. Almost! Something's breaking through the wall! What is it? Something's breaking through the wall! Holy crap. Okay. There's another one. Need more time. 
This is bad. You guys are pretty strong. Oh, jeez. Trying to do my combo, but I'm failing. Good. We're gonna die. You okay? <laughs> Got a little bit crazy there for a second. I think I can use one more health. Yeah, we're at max now. I saw some coin purses floating what? around. You gotta There's grab those right there. away. They disappear very quickly. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it in here. There's nothing else for us in this, <laughs> in this little area. Okay, so up here. Oh, you can actually right see the Look, bottom. An opening. Looks bubbly and like lava-y. I don't know what that could be. All right. Uh, do you hear that? Yeah. What is that? What is it? We will see. Stay close. It sounds like Gollum. I don't know what that is. I'm freaked out. I can't see anything. So we're going towards the scary thing? We are. Okay. Yeah, this is bad. go oh she's over there incoming what okay New kill labor? Revenant's Ruin. Jeez, that was a crazy... <laughs> that was a crazy little... Whatever that was. A Revenant? Revenant Poison. Mother once told me that some witches trade little bits of their soul here and there to become more powerful in Seor magic. Eventually, they lose every part of their humanity and become Revenants. They can disappear in an instant, and these particular revenants are able to spread poison through touch and breath. Sheesh. We also saw the heavy draugr down below. These draugr seem bigger than the ones we first encountered. They carry heavier, more dangerous weapons. It makes them slower, but they're a lot stronger than the regular ones. I think that's all of the new ones. And we read all the lore, yeah. How much... XP do we have now? 351. I'll wait till I get to 500 ish to start making any more upgrades. Um, I do want to go back and just check this area though. I was so distracted by the singing. That I wasn't really looking. 
for anything. Okay, there is a health up here. Oh look, across is a... How can I get over there? I think we have to go this way. All right, so maybe eventually. This place is creepy. Keep going. I still don't understand why that man attacked you at our house. I told you, boy. I know nothing more of it. Okay. What's that up there? A chest? This isn't the one we were looking at, though. <laughs> A soft Svartheim steel? Oh, we got an artifact. Um, a fairly sturdy fragment of dwarven metal used to upgrade various armor sets as well as the talon bow found in coffins. Nice. So that's what the resources are. We can find stuff to upgrade our, our weapons. Nice. What is it? I guess we need to get back up there. But how? Follow me. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh my god. That's weird. Another one. Okay. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. What is it? I've seen this language before. Oh, it's a scroll. Svartalfheim? Svartalfheim sealed? The realms of the dwarves is secured. For a promise of security from the rovers of hell, they have made Asgard custodian to their borders. Now the veneer will know ha will have no hope of the Svartalfheim's aid, thanks to Odin's foresight. The elves remain sufficiently distracted. All plans proceed. The Raven Keeper. Okay. I also saw that we do have like 500 XP, so we might look at that soon. But look, here's another lore, a lore chest. Kind of looks like a wardrobe of some sort. Look here, another. It says his name is Hrungnir. Mother told me about him, a giant warrior made of stone. Looks like he was in a pretty big battle. Odin's there, Thor, even the world serpent. Oh. Thor must have smashed his head apart. See? Yeah. But look! Hrungnir's body squished him. Idiot. <sighs> Idiot. <laughs> these are really cool. I love these. Every shrine tells the story of a giant of legend. So this one's, what was it, Hjolnir? More than the myth. Or more than myth, sorry. Okay, so we found two of them so far. We get 100 per shine. A mighty giant made of frost and stone looks like he had a huge fight with Aesir and Vanir gods. 
He battles Thor, and it looks like they both lose. <laughs> okay. Anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, there's definitely something up on this platform here before we go back. This way. Another one of these. Nice. You found a seal. Chests that are sealed. What's this? Fire. Oh, it gave us rage. Nice. Right. Where's these other seals? There's one over there. I missed. The second seal. So there must be one more somewhere. Earlier, you said people might try and rob us. I'll kill them if they try. I'm not afraid. If we encounter men, you will stay out of it. Understand? But I can fight. You will stay out of it, boy. Speak no more of this. I feel like he's just trying to be really strong for his dad. And also, he's a growing boy. I mean, I'm not sure how old he is, but he looks like maybe like 10 or a little bit more than 10. All right, it has to be over there somewhere. So we're going to have to come back once it's, once it's unlocked. But how do I get that drawbridge down? Oh, look, it's all the way over there. I see it. Can I hit it from here? I don't know. Nice. And let's break this too. Another apple, let's go. One more for a health up a health boost. I'm in the habit of pressing R1 to open chests. That's why I keep swinging at those. Blame all of the previous God of Wars that I've played. <laughs> hey! It's probably going to happen pretty frequently. Until I get the hang of this. Do no! combat. Okay, so not working on him. I'm going to punch him. Wow. I think you got him. I think so. Another one? Oh, another one of those. Okay. Behind me? Okay. 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 
There's another one. I need to get this witch down. Someone's firing at me. There he is. Okay. This is a hard fight. Yeah, I think we're gonna probably have to redo this one. <laughs> Holy. Okay, there's some health over here. I'm gonna grab it for sure. Okay, keep firing. We got our breath back. Are you ready for this one? I think that one's almost dead. Let me go get this guy. I'm ready. There we go. This is the last one. Sorry, not ready. She's almost dead. There we go. Tough stuff. Yeah, we Long almost fault. died there for sure. We almost had our first our first encounter. What's this? Oh, it's just a whole thing. It was laying on a bone, so it made it look like it was the bone. Okay. It got so crazy once we got over here. I didn't know if we missed something. But I think that's it. What's over here, actually? Whoa, a whole thing. How do we get in there? I feel like that's where that rope is hanging off from. Oh, months. Once we get over to whatever area that is, we'll be able to drop down and get behind there. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't see any bombs or anything in this area, really. Just the big chest and some rage. Okay. All right. He's dead. You think it's safe in there? You think it's safer out here? Yeah. Okay, we got some more steel with that. Nice. This is a lot of death. Was there something over here? Oh no, he was just keep moving? staring at the death, yeah. Oh, what's that smell? Nothing ah. good. Are they Hellwalkers? They're untouched. Look. Someone start the fires! Sigmund, you're nice. So many days without meat. Meat? <clears throat> Wait, us? Behind they die, me. they're gonna eat us. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A little at a time. This fight okay. is mine alone. We killed Gunter. For an opening. Ah! 
Okay. New kill labor? Nice. Boy, Aww. don't cry. <laughs> your heart to it. Come then. We have a long journey. Um. They're turning. They're all turning. Wait here. I will handle this. Aren't there four of them? Is Arteus okay? Okay, there's three. yourself we must find a way out i wonder if that was his first like human kill that wasn't yes. a monster something to pull me up okay I'm loving this like father son dynamic that Kratos is a part of I I know what everyone talks about now about how Kratos has the biggest character arc that anyone has seen Atreus the chain the chain right he's so stuck in his mind about that kill you are in your head boy let it go he would have killed you I know, I had to do it. I do know that, I just... And we will go home, boy. What? To give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no! I'm not giving up, I can do this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. Come on up. I'm ready. gotta be hard 
He's so young. And Kratos knew he wasn't ready. Definitely <laughs> called that out. But didn't really have a choice. Can I get over there? Okay. <sighs> Guess there's nothing for us there. Okay, let's keep going. Is this that... What is that noise? I guess that's the uh, the rope that we were looking at to get Listen to those to other me. chests. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. I understand. Alright, so where's that rope? Down that way. Get up and move your ass! Brock? If you square in the ring or you don't move! I'm gonna go down here first. I know we should probably investigate who that is, but I'm gonna get this. What you waiting for? Come on already! Let's go! Ooh, the faces of magic. Huh. It's an artifact. So another one of the lost and found. Okay, the yeah, faces of magic. We found the scary mask in the dangerous part of the river pass. Let's keep an eye out for more. Somebody might pay good money. Um, hack silver. <laughs> Someone might pay good hack silver for these. Okay, I thought we had another one pop up, but apparently not. I thought there was another chest. What you waiting for? Come on already. Let's go. Who is that? They're on the bridge. <laughs> okay, so maybe that wasn't the ledge that I was thinking about. Ah, she looks so sad. Yeah, it's not. Um, yeah, it's not the ledge that I was thinking about. What you waiting for? Come on already! Let's what is this? Go. The eyes of Odin? I had a feeling because it was a a raven, and usually with Raven, that is Odin watching. Dispatch Odin's winged spies, one of fifteen. The Raven God's eyes and ears are everywhere. Okay. And we went over here, right? Now I feel like I'm missing stuff. <laughs> that guy's definitely trying to distract me. All right, let's go. All right, let's see what this guy is yelling about. He's obviously in distress. What kind of animal? What is that? Can't get this slow-eyed cocklump to cross the bridge. Hm. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. Okay. What is that? You were right. Say, you must be smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! She have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever asked mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Then I look at. Huh. Looks like a dinosaur. Say, uh, you're not gonna believe me, but 
That axe you got, then. It was me what made her. Me and my brother. Was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. Yeah, I like him. So what say you? Ah! You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger bitch, ya doomber That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. Guess we'll be running along. So, where's the other him? half of the brand? A lot during our oh, travels. Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! So what'd you find out there? Nice. Brock shop. I was wondering where we were going to unlock the shop. Welcome to the Dwarven shop. From here, you can upgrade equipment. You already own or craft entirely new equipment. Nice. Brock has given you a frozen flame, a rare resource. Resources found in the world can be used to craft and upgrade your equipment. Okay. Kratos' equipment has power levels and stats. Upgrading the axe levels it up and it increases strength, which contributes to Kratos' overall power level and stats. Okay. Runic attack damage can increase your... By increasing... Wait, sorry. Runic attack damage can be increased by increasing runic. Runic cooldowns can be reduced by increasing cooldown. Each stat has a different gameplay benefit. Press L3 to hide the descriptions. We actually read through these earlier. Um, when upgrading an item, the power level and stats gain will display an item on an item card, also reflected on Kratos' stat table. Upgrading weapon permanently increases these stats. Other items will must be equipped to influence Kratos' stats. Okay, so the power goes with the weapon. Got it. Resources required to upgrade an item are displayed at the bottom of the card. Hold to upgrade. Upgrade Leviathan success. Okay. Cool. So that's how we upgrade it. Not enough resources. So we need more frozen flame in order to upgrade our axe to level three. Very cool. Upgrading your weapons unlocks new skills for purchase. Visit the skills tab. Oh, very cool. Okay. Um, so let me see about the bow. Something for the boy. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that for sure. Add on a pack of punch now. Upgrade talent bow success. New skills are available. Got it. What more you need? Um, chest armor. Reaver tunic or a boar hide shoulder guard. That looks very silly on Kratos. <laughs> Cheaply made but sturdy. Commonly used with Reaver clans. Favors defense. Kratos being Kratos, we probably want something along the line of slightly increasing strength. Not very comfortable, but slightly increases strength. Yeah, defense goes down a bit. Luck goes down a bit. Strength goes up by four. I don't know if I want to waste our money on this. It's still just a level one. It's not a huge increase in boost. And overall, it decreases our stats more than what we're wearing right now. So I'm not going to do this right now. Say the word, kid. Not enough resources for him to get anything special. So once we have some more steel, we'll make sure we upgrade something his stuff. something else in mind? Nothing to buy. We can sell artifacts. Nice. For silver. They have no other use on your journey. That was my question. Good stuff. Very cool. Okay. That's cool that you can sell those for money. I love that. All right. Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on. Give that axe a twirl. 
Okay. So long as you don't break nothing. Something behind me? Bye. Right into that. Hey, your paw can kill. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Want to see my wares again? All right, very nice. All right, so let's take a look. Brock. Fuck else you need. Oh, how come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. <laughs> Only thing to do was split the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What, you want a hug? Hit the road. Okay, let's Sorry. take a look at his shop. I like Brock. He's a very interesting character. And we already looked through everything, so we don't have anything else to see with him. Best of luck with all the rampage. <gasps> I wonder if we'll just keep running along beside him on our travels, or if maybe we'll come back to this area. Come. It was I'm nice wondering. meeting you, Brock. I'll be but... thinking of a name for your beast. How about I name her fucking Gratitude? <laughs> hey, fucking Gratitude, come over here. I like it. Okay. So there's some sort of like mechanism over there. There's something over here. There's another Odin <laughs> spy over there. Ah, uh, so that's how we get down there. Okay. Let's just get this treasure. Because I have had my eye on this treasure since we started out in this area. All the way over in that artifact chest, I have had my eye on this area. You left me to fight alone. Yeah, he did. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? Pull your weight or we go home. I understand. Good then. But wait. We're back here again. Yeah, we're gonna go back this way. I just wanted to keep that open. Ooh, some steel. We might be able to upgrade Arteus' stuff again. Let's go do that real fast. And then, honestly, I should probably stop. I don't wanna stop playing. I have been loving this first look into God of War. I. I'm completely blown away. It's everything that I thought and more. All right, so Come let's go ahead in, and upgrade our so stuff. For peace and quiet. Reduces the Talon bow's um, arrow recharge time. That could be very helpful. Melee damage, recovery speed from enemy attacks. I'm gonna go ahead and do the aim shot for now because that would really, really help us for the reduced time. I didn't know that he was injured sometimes. Arteus will sometimes find health stones when Kratos is injured. Oh, a health stone assist. Okay, we're gonna do, definitely do aim shots for now. We're not really struggling on health right now. You know, being small like us, that's natural. Less to hit. I love the yellow. Um, but eventually this might be nice, especially when we're enemies choked by Arteus will take increased damage. 
What's it gonna be? Yeah, we'll probably do the health one eventually, but for right now, I think it's fine. So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? I like how you can just talk to him whenever. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm going to stop here for the day. I know that the episode is a little bit longer than usual. Um, if you guys have followed me from my previous God of War videos, I usually only have them be about an hour. I expect these God of Wars and going into Ragnarok to probably be closer to two hours just because the game is so much more involved and there's a lot more for us to do in here. So I hope you guys don't mind, but expect these longer two hour maximum videos that I will be putting out from here on for the God of War games. As you all probably know and can tell, I love this game. I I'm amazed at this first look into God of War and I see now why everyone has harped about how amazing and beautiful and deep this game is. In this very first look, I think I was on the edge of tears more than I have ever been in any game that I have played so far. Every single interaction that Kratos has with his son, I want to cry because of everything that Kratos has been through. Everything that I know about Kratos so far, about his family and the love that he can carry and can now show to his son is beautiful. I love the father-son dynamic. I love that Kratos is still Kratos. I can still feel and hear him in the way that he talks to his son. His worries and his fears for Arteus are, are sound. He does not want him to make the same mistakes that he made. And I feel like that is what him harping on him so hardly is. He doesn't want him to make the same mistakes. He doesn't want him to let his rage shine through and control his life. To be so quick and fast and make bad decisions that will haunt him for the rest of his life like it did for Kratos. I think it's really interesting, but I also don't blame him that he is keeping his past from Arteus. Arteus has said it multiple times as the stranger came and in his notebook sometimes that they're nobodies. He doesn't see Kratos as anyone other than his humble father, and he thinks that they have a very normal, humble life. I'm not sure what we're going to embark on this journey with the ashes. I have a feeling that whoever is after us definitely has to do with Odin because of the ravens that have been scattered about and that stranger that we fought straight up mentioned that he was sent by Odin. Not sure what he's after though. I don't understand how they're after Kratos unless Odin foresaw something that involved Kratos in some form. That honestly worries me a lot because Kratos has been used as a pawn in a bigger game by gods for so long, and I'm worried that they're after him because they know the power and the rage and everything about Kratos' past, and they want him to do something for these gods. But thank you guys so much for joining me on this first look and adventure through God of War 2018. I hope you all enjoy this series as much as I know I'm going to because I can feel my heart and soul just bursting into this game already. And I can't wait to dive deeper with you all next time. Bye everyone.